my jelly babes welcome back to my channel so i'm going to be showing you how i achieve this gorgeous spring inspired mani using she modern products so these are like a mixed um sort of foil art water decal uh, art set so it's really simple to achieve you just want to cut out the um, parts of the foil that you want it's important to remove that film as well that I showed you, at the, um, you know, just be, just before. Otherwise, the decal won't remove from the backing properly. I'm just going to cut out the bits that I want now. And it's good if you can cut as much of the excess decal off as possible. It will just, um, you know, make that show up less uh, when you place it on the nail. So these really don't need long to be in the water for it to separate. You literally just put it in for a few seconds and then you just come in. It's easier if you've got some tweezers, especially these sort of really fine point ones that I'm using, which are uh, Divine by Natasha Lees. I'm absolutely loving using her nail tools in my videos. They are really high quality and make everything uh, a lot easier. <laughs> So if you are trying to put the water decal on and it keeps folding up like it's doing here, just add some more water and, you know, press it down firm with the cotton pad and it should stick. So now I'm cutting out the other parts of the um, foil arts that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using some um, flowers and ladybirds. So I use four flowers in total and two ladybirds. And if you really are struggling with applying it with the water, because sometimes it can be really fiddly, just apply some transfer foil glue onto the nail, let it dry, and then um, when you take it out of the um, water, make sure that you wipe off the excess. I forgot then, so I've just put this somewhere else. And you can see it just sticks down absolutely fine. There's no issues. It's far easier, I think. I think I'll just do that from now on. So with this one, obviously I've put water on, but I don't want to be touching the nail because it has got that transfer foil glue, which gives that sticky layer. But if you, if you have done what I've done and forgot to wipe the excess off, it will still stick. You just need to put it in place and just put your finger on, on the decal only and kind of push it. And that water will sort of like push out and then it will just, if you just leave it, it will just stick there. Just showing you here. That's fine and stuck down now. And then I'm just going to be applying the butterflies as well. So what I love about She Modern Foils is they are, you know, relatively easy to use. Um, and they're, they, they're bringing out some gorgeous foil arts now. And it's just a really quick, easy way to get a really nice looking mani. Um, I mean, like, it, how many of you... If you obviously didn't see the She Modern thing, would have just thought that I'd stamped this. So I think it's like a great alternative to get a stamped look um, if you struggle with stamping, but it, it's much easier to do. So if you just haven't got freehand skills and you just want your nails to be nice and pretty like this. And then because my base is quite light, the Sharpie pens, because they're quite obviously, they're highly pigmented, they did still manage to uh, come through, even though it wasn't on a white base, which I was really, really pleased with. I wasn't sure whether this was going to work, but I was so happy with the result. But just how simple is this? It's just a case of sticking some foil arts to your nail and then coming in and filling in with some Sharpie pens. And even the red showed up um, fabulously as well. So I was really, really happy with how this turned out. So I would love to know your thoughts on this mani. If you do decide to recreate it, tag me in on Instagram at Jellylicious. I've been loving seeing your recreations over on there. It's been really fun. So thank you for those to those that have done that. So that's it for today, Jelly Babes. All details are in the description box below. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.